Welcome back to Fever Overtime. Now it's time for a Fever Spotlight game brought to you by Suddenlink. Fever Spotlight brought to you by Suddenlink. The Rusk Eagles have had a great season so far, coming into tonight's matchup at a 6 and 1 record. But on the other sideline was the Texas Dynasty, the Carthage Bulldogs, who haven't lost a regular season game since 2016. Patrick Cunningham joins us live from Eagle Stadium to show us if Rusk could pull off the upset or if the Dogs will continue to reign supreme. Patrick, take it away. Garrett, before the game, we talked about how Carthage was the one with the tough defense, but someone forgot to tell that to Rusk. They were the ones forcing the turnovers tonight, but would it be enough to pull off the upset? Let's check those highlights. Carthage coming in 6-0 and and sitting on top of their district, while Rusk was looking to shock the state on their home turf. First quarter, Carthage quarterback Connor Cuff, he's going to drop back, fires over the middle, and he is picked off by Ada McCown, and he is going to cut back to the outside, follow his blockers all the way down the sideline, looking for the end zone, but forced out of bounds around the seven. He had three takeaways on the night. Great field position, but just three plays later, his brother, Owen McCown, fires for the end zone. Look at the hops there by the senior, Brandon King, picks it off for Carthage and that kept us a scoreless tie game. First play of the second quarter, though, Owen McCown. He is going to dive into an absolute mass of humanity and somehow powers through. Touchdown, Eagles. They're up 7 to nothing. Carthage with a quick response, though. Cuff going to heave it up for the end zone. Going up for it is Montreal Hatton. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Just like that, it's 7 to 7. Later in the half, McCown once again throws himself into the trenches. Everyone looking around. No one sure if he scores. Refs run up and they throw their hands up. Touchdown, Rusk. They were up 14 to 7 at the break. Their defense forced seven turnovers over the entire game. Not like Carthage right there. But let's check that final score. Carthage escaping Rusk 35 to 14. Despite all of those miscues, they scored 28 points unanswered in the second half, and that kept them at 7 and 0 on the season. Now, after the game, I spoke to Coach Surratt, who was not happy at all with his team's performance. Well, we stink. I mean, really, honestly, we stink, and uh, I don't think we played good at any phase. And uh, you know, it's just not being ready to play, and that's all on me. That's not anybody else. And uh, we'll get them ready to play. I'm going to do do whatever I can to get get us better and uh, see what we can do. Coach Surratt not pulling any punches there after the game, but Garrett, they did pull out of here with a win, and they're still undefeated with just two weeks left in the regular season. Reporting live in Rusk, Patrick Cunningham, Garrett, let's send it back to you in the studio.